America, Tom Hand here in the Americana Corner. Today we are discussing how General George Washington ended the Newburgh Conspiracy. By early 1783, a few high-ranking officers in the Continental Army, then stationed in Newburgh, were threatening mutiny due to Congress's unfulfilled promises of a pension for the men. Their leader was General Horatio Gates, Washington's second in command. On March 10th, Gates' assistants circulated a letter suggesting the army refused to disband until its requests were met and requested all officers meet the following day. General Washington quickly responded and called the summons irregular and disorderly. He asked that the meeting be delayed until March 15th to give emotions time to subside. On the appointed day, Gates opened the session but was soon superseded when General George Washington unexpectedly entered the room. He gave a speech known as the Newburgh Address, which mentioned all the reasons why taking matters into their own hands would be a mistake for the officers, the army, and the nation. He urged patience and insisted Congress would not let them down. Washington then put on his glasses to read a letter to the men. He said, Gentlemen, you will permit me to put on my spectacles, for I have not only grown gray, but almost blind in the service to my country. The men were surprised to see Washington looking old and vulnerable, and they realized how much he had sacrificed for them and the nation. By the time Washington concluded his remarks, he had carried the day with all officers professing faith in his judgment on this matter. Next time, we will discuss the aftermath of the Newburgh Conspiracy. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.